Hello everyone, and in this video we'll be having a look at the Opera browser beta version again on my Fire tablet because we want to do a video playback test on this on the Opera browser beta but again we'll explain a bit about that later on in the video now yesterday I did film Opera Mini Beta and I probably ought to apologise for the lack of visuals in the picture. Now because I use the voice view screen reader and because it has the screen curtain function I turn the screen curtain on just to save battery. However I didn't realise it would appear as a blank screen on the screen recorder so I have got this screen curtain off now so I do apologize for that By using this continue. and um, in fact I did another tutorial yesterday so I've got to do that again but whether that okay so back to the opera beta browser now and we've got the continue screen which is the usual opera theme the Opera Beta browser, by the way, the beta version enables you to test updates that are released by Opera before they reach the Opera browser. So that is why you get Opera Mini Beta, Opera Mini, Opera Browser Beta that we are testing now. And then Opera Browser, which we have tested a few days ago. Now, as you probably saw, we had your advert screen so to allow personalized ads and that which again is another common opera thing now because we had no visuals in the opera mini beta what we're probably going to do is we're going to compare the opera beta to the opera mini beta instead of doing the Opera Mini Beta again if I can help and straight away what I can see is the options at the bottom of the screen unless I think there was another setup process I'm not too sure what that was all about but again the different icons in the process and the information it might not have been written text, it probably would have been image text and again image text are not always detectable by screen readers so again that will probably need changing but also need implementing uh, on the Opera official version just to make the theme consistent you got your news article you got your news sections here unlike the Opera Mini Beta although you could turn the new sections on by uh, if you desired in the Opera Mini but the fact that they are on by default means that you don't have to go through that extra process of turning it on and it means that you can open the browser and have a browse of what the current affairs are So it's got would you like to customize your news but again the fact that you can customize it is a very good advantage there so on the home page you've got Google Facebook Instagram Amazon and again like the Opera Mini Beta the social networks and the other sites should be grouped so they're all related to each other so you've got Facebook, Instagram but in, but in between the two you've got Google and I think another site so again it will be nice if you had Facebook, Instagram and all your social networks out of the way and done with before going on to other sites because again that would be more logical You've got a unlabeled button next to the speed dial, and again, it would be nice if that was labeled. 
However, that seems to bring up the browser menu, that unlabeled button. So again, it would be nice if it said menu like the Opera Mini Beta did. So that is that. One thing I like about this browser menu, unlike the Opera Mini Beta, is it's in a nice long list, which is really nice and more accessible. The browser does have a night mode, which is supposed to filter out certain colors, which can hinder the production of the sleep hormone melatonin. And again, that's why devices have night modes, and that's why they recommend that you turn the night mode on before you go to bed should you use your device so the fact that this has a night mode is very good and not only that my galaxy tab a 9.7 unlike my fire tablet which we are now does not have a night mode on it so again it's a good backup offline pages download we didn't see offline pages in the opera mini beta section settings Let's have a look at these settings now then. So you've got home page notifications, so those are your sections. You've got sign in to Opera here. Browser. Data savings. VPN. So the fact that this has VPN on it is very good. you got ad blocking but you've also got another night mode option here appearance, appearance. Startup. and I think you can set the startup behavior of this browser as well there you go you've got news reader mode an awful lot and all that lot rather not awful lot. Now you see down here you've got default search engine but we had to scroll down to get there and again it would be nice if it was at the top or next to the address bar like the Opera Mini Beta had it. Just trying to look for the accessibility section but it's doesn't look as though it has an accessibility section which is a bit bad really well rather than keep faffing and looking for an accessibility section let us get browsing now when we have been doing our browser uh, videos as you probably know we often look up YouTube videos to test the browser video playback but on the Fire Tablets the video tests cannot be too critical as what I've noticed is if you play a YouTube video through the browser and not through the YouTube app on the Fire Tablet you don't get the full sound potential coming from your speakers especially if you have Dolby Atmos installed or some sort of Dolby software that like my Fire Tablet has. So we have been doing video tests on the browsers that we have tested on the Fire Tablet and in fact we'll be having another look at browsers that we've tested before to see you know, which browsers perform to our video expectations. So we're going to have a look at a probably another DPF video I should have also pointed out earlier in the disadvantages section that the menu does not be does not include a desktop site option so it would be nice if we had one menu to start off with with a desktop option because it would be nice if you had a 
No thanks. Dialogue is partially obscured by another app. Please stop her the apps appearing on top to ensure the dialogue is not open. Back. Home. Hang on a minute. Back. Or, no thanks. When you open links to m.youtube.com, the app will be open automatically. No thanks. From the 31st of March 2020. Okay, so as I was saying, Learn more. it would be nice if you had the desktop site option because it would be nice if people had a head start so they can customize be customize the site behavior before they go on to the site that they want to browse on now let us unmute the video and instead of being muted it is waiting for you to press the play button which is quite nice So, as you might be able to hear, the speakers don't sound as rich as they should. So, again, if you want a rich audio experience from your YouTube videos when played in the browser, Opera Mini Beta is the one for you but again there might be some other browsers that offer a rich experience that we closing I'll probably wait to test in conclusion the opera browser beta isn't really that bad some options are better than the opera mini browser beta which we will do another video on for a number of reasons first of all the menu is in one nice long list and the icons are quite sensibly sized unlike the Opera Mini Beta where it was in a grid and the icons were quite small not only that the menu opened in its individual window on this browser in unlike the Mini Beta but again now you, when we upload the new Opera Mini Beta video, hopefully the similarities should become more clear cut as this browser is quite a bit different from the Mini Beta. So overall, My fire. if you I want to have a go at this browser, Mobile have a go. Hope you found this video thank hope you have found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you soon.